between two conflicting testimonies. Somebody is lying. Give me your money. <laughs> I'm gonna give it to the blacks. <laughs> me to devise some kind of method or strategy to offset some of the events or re a repetition of the events that have taken place here in Los Angeles recently. We have to go to the root. We have to go to the cause. Dealing with the condition itself is not enough. And it is because of our effort toward getting straight to the root that people oftentimes think we're dealing in hate. We are oppressed. We are exploited. We are downtrodden. We are denied not only civil rights, but even human rights. So the only way we're going to get some of this oppression and exploitation away from us or aside from us is come together against a common enemy. It's so ironic to call yourself an anti-fascist when you're literally enforcing your own particular ideology, pretending that you're being inundated with Nazis and white supremacists and that this is all necessary. Give me your money. <laughs> I'm going to give it to the blacks. Yeah, that was a weird one where people were getting angry at me and saying that I was reciting a racist conspiracy theory. I'm like, okay. I, for one, as a Muslim, believe that the white man is intelligent enough. I'm like, okay. If he were made to realize how black people really feel. I'm like, okay. How fed up we are without that old compromising sweet talk. Stop sweet talking. Tell him how you feel. Give me your money. <laughs> I'm going to give it to the blacks. Tell him how, what kind of hell you've been catching and let him know that if he's not ready to clean his house up, if he's not ready to clean his house up,